So, hey guys, uh, welcome back. Today, I will be reviewing one of my favorite movies of all time, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. So, Spider-Verse follows Miles, an Afro-Latino teen who is, whose father hates Spider-Man. He says that a real hero should hide behind a mask and, should do, and he should join the police force. Of course... Of course, you know Spider-Man, he's not going to join the police force, so yeah. Little does Jefferson Davis know, his son will replace Spider-Man. As of this universe, everything is pretty much the same, but different. And this universe's Spider-Man looks really, really different from our universe's Spider-Man. A.K.A. the one we know. Oh, and... <clears throat> And what and how did Miles get bit by the spider? You ask. Well, it was on a slightly illegal trip with his uncle, Aaron Davis. Everything starts to get all weird, and his blood cells multiply, and all that stuff. And you know how he reacts to it. What a legend. His trouble ensures, and sooner or later, the multiverse is broken open by this dude named Kingpin. And he meets other versions of Spider-Man, including, including, uh, Spider-Man and Spider-Girl, including the Spider-Man we know and love, Stacy Spider-Woman. <laughs> Penny Parker and Peter and World War and World War II warrior Peter Parker. And Pig Peter Parker. And together they stop the Kingpin <clears throat> and save the multiverse. Now this um a um, movie has a lot, a lot of action, but I think I don't think it's something a little um, older kids can't handle. There are a few flashing lights that might affect certain viewers, <clears throat> but no curse words or anything. And I think it's a great film for people of all ages. You know, even people who hate superhero movies will love this film. And for a Spider-Man nerd like me, it's awesome. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time, and, well, just have a great Thanksgiving.